Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flux Studios. This is part four of my tutorial series on creating a battery-powered flashlight in Unity 3D. I'm going to try to make this the last video, so I'm, go I'm going to try to pick things up and get it done. Okay, so we're going to finish right where we left off and just save that real quick, and I always tabify. Okay. Um, we're going to say if inputs get key down, key code tab. I use tab, you can use space, whatever letter you want. I think tab is perfectly fine. It's near your fingers when you're moving around with WASD and everything. That's why I chose it. And we're going to say if it's tab, if the user presses tab and HUD has flashlight, it's true. So if the, they picked up a flashlight and if headlight is not enabled, that's why I have the exclamation point there. So if it's, they pressed it, they have a flashlight, and it's turned off, then we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna start decreasing the battery power. Or, let's see, or let's just turn it on. Headlight, enable the ghost strip. Okay, and else if a lot of the same stuff, input, get key down, if they press tab again and they have the flashlight and it is enabled, what are we going to do? We are going to disable it. So headlight enabled equals false. What the heck? No. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to tabify and save it again. And now, at the end of all that, those if else statements, what we're going to do is if battery life is less than or equal to zero, we're going to set it to zero. And we are going to disable it. So it turns it off. And up here, because it gets automatically turned off when it runs out, we want to have them to be able to, re uh, to turn it back on. And to do that, we're going to check if battery life is greater than or equal to zero and HUD battery count if they have uh, more than zero batteries we are going to decrement the battery count with the minus minus and reset the battery life to 100. And then the next, once it gets out of that if statement, then it enables it, and then on the next update, it will see that it's enabled, and then it will decrement the battery life. Okay, tabify. Really wish I knew why it did that every time, but whatever. And Okay, that's it for this script. Now we have a little bit of work to do on the actual model to get the headlight placed and and everything. Let's see. So we're going to do third person controller. It's under the pelvis, spine, spine one, neck, and head 
And then what I did was create a empty game object. Reset its position so it's smack dab where it needs to be. Well, re-enable it or move it a little bit. Oh, my apologies. Create an empty game object. Attach it to the the head or the helmet, rather. Let's see. Attach the helmet. And then reset the position, and then boom! Now it's it's on the helmet where it needs to be. And then just move it in front of the helmet. Go to top view. Top view, put it right in front of the helmet, put it back to perspective, and let's see, now we have a position where we can place the headlamp, all I'm going to do is make it a child, oh, I did not set the scale. Delete that. I'm gonna name that that game object that hit that on the helmet. Or I press I selected and press F2 to toggle the rename. I'm going to name it Head Lamp Mount, and I'm going to take this, take the scale factor, make it. Zero, zero, one. Let's see if that works. Apply it. Bring it in. Now it looks pretty good. Just got to. I'm going to rotate it a little bit so it's pointed down. Actually, I'm going to reset the position. Oops. Undo that. Reset. Not the scale, but the position. And then now it's pointing the right direction. And... just want to point it down a little bit and now we have the headlight attached to the the helmet I'm gonna move it down and then the last thing we're gonna attach is another point light so that's under game object other or rather spotlight spotlight We're going to child that to the headlamp. So when I reset position, it puts it smack dab where it needs to be. Actually, I'm going to reset everything. Okay, now it's pointing the other way. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to rotate it all the way around. Looks like we want the Y to be 180 and then it's pointed downward. That looks pretty good. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to take this headlamp mount and tag it. So I'm clicking untag, then I'm going to add tag tags it's going to call, be called headlamp 
and I'm at my mark, so I'm going to stop there and continue in the next.